Yes. So today we are showing, uh, Mark and myself are showing the use uh, medicaments for enhanced durability and medication for ASR in concrete. So uh, I think so far everybody know the medicaments. The medicaments we are using is a, a pretty pure kaolin clays and, and cast at temperature around 400, 400 to 600 to the uh, highly reactive form in the metacalin form, okay? And the, the metacalin we are using typical is in the color is in white. And the main reason we're using this metacalin is to, to enhance the strength, also increasing the durability, more particular medicate ASR in the concrete. For ASR, a medication study, we just using the ASTM 1567 test method. This is a rapid test method. In this test method, basically, so you emerge the mortar bar in uh, one normality sodium hydroxide solution and store the specimen at 80 degrees Celsius. According to the standards, you want to try to achieve the expansion less than 0.1% at 14 days. Okay. In the current study, we select uh, 16 different uh, natural reactive aggregates. And we select two different cements with uh, high and low alkali contents. The metacalin dosage we select is between 4 to 20%. Okay. And basically, just do the uh, 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 land change measurements as normally uh, people do. And for each study, normally we use prepare three motor bar, like shown in this table. This is one example for one of the kind of low reactivity aggregates. This particular aggregate is come from about Canada. And this in this particular study is uh, with the high alkali cements, uh, the metacalin level we are using is uh, from 6 to 2% replacement of the total cementitious material. Uh, as you can see from the charts, if this uh, 14 days, you will try to achieve, you try to achieve the less than 0.1% expansion, the metacalin level is need to be about 8% by way of total cementitious material. For this one, this is a, uh, uh, this is another, this is one example for one of the more reactive aggregates. This particular aggregate is come from Colorado. And for this uh, example, we're just using the low alkali cements. And in this study, the metacalin level is up to 16% replacement or total cementitious material we use. Try to achieve 0.1% uh, expansion, less less than 0.1% expansion at 14 days, for this particular aggregate, you request 12% of the metacalin replacement, okay? So as I mentioned in the previously, we using the select total 16 different uh, reactive aggregates and testing a different uh, two cements. And this is a uh, overall, summarize for all the results according to the 1567 test method to define the dosages of the metacalin required to achieve less than 0.1% expansion at 14 days. And of course, this is a pretty uh, busy table. The takeaway from the result is uh, the dosage of metacalin to require to re to medicate ASR is very much depend on the level of reactivity of the aggregate. Can be range from 8% up to say 17% for very reactive aggregate like a Pasita from New Mexico. Okay, now so let's move to the effect of the metacalin on the concrete performance. This is the this result show the setting time, effect of setting time of uh, 
Medicare on the concrete. This particular example is uh, the cement content is uh, 360 kg per cubic meter. The water to cementation ratio is uh, 0.4. And three level of Medicare was used, 5%, 10%, up to 15% of total cementation replacements. You can see if for both the initial set or final set, actually Medicare doesn't change much. Try to confirm this result, we also run the calorimetry. As you can see, uh, as for reference up to 15% of the Medicare replacements, the heat evolution almost overlap each other. So basically, this, these two charts indicate Medicare doesn't have a much effect on the second time. But on the other hand, Medicare have a significant improve for the compressions. Uh, the example we are showing here is uh, using the mix alkali with uh, cement with a mix alkali contents. The cement content is a 380. 6 kg per cubic meter for this particular concrete mix design, and water to cementation ratio is 0.4. And this particular uh, concrete is uh, air and training. Uh, the three level of medicare was used 5, 15, 10% replacements of total cementitious material. The charts clearly indicates the addition of these uh, highly reactive medicare provide pretty quick strength developments. You can see here, this is a, a seven day, three day, and seven day, you can see the seven day result, seven day strengths already see the benefit for the meta cannons. At 56 days, by using 15% meta cannon replacement, you can enhance the compression up to 15 megapascal. So the enhance of the compression by metacarin also increasing with the dosages, 5%, 10%, and 15%. This result show the metacarin on the uh, chloride permeability based on the uh, ASTM C1202. Similar mix design as we showed for the compression. And we measure the uh, chloride permeability at 28 day and 56 day. And the, again, three level of Medicare replacements was used, five, 10, and 15%. The result indicates the additional of Medicare, again, provide a very quick reduction in permeability. And also the columns values a decrease with the increasing level of the Medicare and replacements. So based on what we see in the lab, we have definitely see the Medicare and uh, enhance the uh, ASR medication, in, enhance the, the strength developments, also reduce the chloride permeability. And now I show a couple of the real life projects. This one is uh, the highway project in Miami, Florida. It's a, it's a uh, current project. The highlight for this project is the cost for a project is almost $800 million. And uh, the requirements is they want to have a 100 year durability design criteria. And they like to have uh, two durability issue under control. One is corrosion and one is alkalistic react, uh, reactivity protection. That's the reason we select Medicare is one of the key law material for these projects. And we are showing two examples for, for these two projects. One example is uh, in doing these projects, they were uh, constructing, construct a uh, highly reinforced pile, like shown in this, in, in this uh, picture. So we're using the uh, Medicare and clout. Okay, and so this is a, to, instead of using the, the concrete, we're using the Medicare and cloud to uh, uh, accompany the, the flow. The flow requires uh, like a, very quickly, 
you run a flow contest, it will request a, a 15 seconds. They also like to have a very low resistivity at uh, 20 kilowatt uh, ohm. And the compressor is, is a 15 megapascal. So during this section of the constructions, uh, we have been using the Metacaron cloud to, con to contract almost 2,000 this kind of pile. And each pile, the volume of the is roughly 21 cubic meter. And the, this is uh, the uh, ready mix to produce these metacaron clouds for these projects. The another example for these projects is the uh, one mass concrete. One mass concrete, the requirement for this mass concrete is uh, need to be SCC. The flow is required uh, from 620 to 750 millimeter. The compressed strength is uh, not 70 megapascals and also need to be lower surface uh, resistivities. As I showed before, actually metacannon doesn't reduce the heat of hydration. And this is a, a mass concrete. The volume is a huge, and this uh, construction time is uh, July of 2021. It's the high temperature in the Florida. So actually we are request using the zero water to achieve temperature at 7, 27 degrees C. And during this, during this uh, uh, casting for this uh, mass concrete, it's almost 4,000 cubic meter uh, mass concrete, the, the, uh, 33 exactly hour of the concrete was pumping using the high medical mix design. Now I show another different example. This is a uh, high rise buildings in New York in the 432 Park Avenue. This is a high rise buildings. The requirements is a uh, high strength. The strength is uh, uh, 96 megapascals. And uh, another requirement is at 56 day, we need to over design about 50 megapascals. Uh, the modules of electric, uh, elasticity at 56 day is uh, 51,000 megapascal. And one of the key requirements for this high rise building is that they request the color is white. Okay. So once this is a, one of the reasons we select uh, Metacallon for these projects. So this is end result. By using the high up to 71% replacements of the with metacadence, we are able to achieve 155 megapascal strengths and also achieve the requirement for the uh, modules elasticities. Uh, temperature is uh, within their requirement range. And the mix is a SCC, uh, very well pumpable. After finishing all these projects, we also run the eco efficiency analysis, or another way is called a life cycle analysis, to to see the benefits of using Medicare on these projects. So for energy saving. By using the, uh, the, the metacatalyst in this project, we are able to show the saving on the energy is uh, almost uh, 3 million megajoules. The equipment reduction in the CO2 is uh, almost 9 million kg. And the water emission reduction is uh, over 700 million liters and also show is able to reduce the solar waste over 250,000 kg. So 
the conclusion mark is uh, by using these uh, high reactive medicaments, it's uh, uh, sustainable to replace them for the cement, portland cement in terms of performance. By provide high strength, low permeability, and also it can provide alternative option for ASR medication. And not just produce the durable concrete and also produce a, a, a aesthetic, attracting high performance concrete. Okay, so this is all I have. Thank you for your attention. Thanks so much, Frank. Um, lots of great examples of um, large scale projects there and some great lab data too. Both of them drew some questions. Um, let me go ahead and start with this one by Mohammed uh, Jabariza. Jabira Zeta. Uh, the question is, what was the goal in the of air entrainment in Medicale and containing concrete? It goes back more toward an earlier part of your talk. Yes, the reason for that is most of the, uh, as if we are living in the North America, right? Most of the, uh, uh, in the North American outside projects requires air entraining for a freezing zone register. So actually, uh, one of the reasons we're using the air and training is say, okay, even though we have a six, seven percent air content in the concrete, by using the uh, metacalins, the permeability stays very, very low. Okay, so you still need the air entrainment or you don't? Is, is we do, we still need the air entrainment to provide free gene zone register. So it's okay. two, two different uh, durability issues. One is uh, for the ASR medication, another one is uh, for the free gene zone register. Uh, let's see, a, a question here from um, Cheng Qi. Frank, with quite a few DOTs requiring ASR mitigation to be below 0.1% at 30 days, according to ASTMC 1567, uh, it appears metacalin does not necessarily work better than the lower grade calcine clays that we saw in earlier presentations. It's more available and at lower cost. Do you have any comments? That's true. Uh, depend on the dosage. So uh, of course, uh, I didn't show you. We, we, we evaluate uh, multiple different, uh, uh, different uh, calcine clades, include the one I just showed you, this uh, highly reactive medicalins. They all can provide the ASR medication. The only difference is the dosage response. Some have a higher, require higher, lower doses to achieve this so-called 0.1% expansion at 14 day or uh, 28 day. Some require higher dosages. Okay. And then one final question from Eric Kohler. Uh, what are your recommendations for admixture types to offset the water demand change for calcine clay and metacalin? As you know, our company is specialized to produce a different admixture, right? So yes, we do find for these metacalins, we, we require uh, special designs, high range of water reducer. One, some of the uh, uh, water reducer it, uh, is not working as well as uh, some type. So the, 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 the example we're showing here, we're using a special design, high range of water reducer, and it's working very well. Okay. Um, can you say which one you used? Uh, for example, like the, uh, everybody using, uh, that's, um, I, I believe earlier the presentation, it, this morning I have some uh, people suggest using a, a PCE products. Uh -huh. Yes, we're using PCE products, but have a different type of PCE products. So okay. some, some, uh, some PCE have a, depend on the particle charge, depend on the uh, side chain. And for Medicare, we believe using high charge PCE doing better. That's very insightful. 